check this out. Go to Romans chapter 8, verse 16. We're going to stay in the scriptures and show you. Because you say you grew up a Catholic, right? Yeah, they I They probably am. never taught you this. It's all good. Great. Romans chapter 8, and verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. It said the Spirit itself, talking about this Bible, bear witness with our spirit. Read. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. What we talk about, young men, is we talking about the 12 tribes in Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans consider or make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Has anybody taught you that before? Did you used to go to uh, church, Sunday school, anything? All right, did you hear about Moses? And how he led the people out of Egypt? Okay, so those were two different people, right? There was people in Egypt, and there was the Israelites. God chose the Israelites. That's what make up the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, why is that important to know now? Because God said we would go into captivity if we didn't keep his commandments. We would go into oppression if we didn't keep his commandments, right? So you say you're from the Sudan, right? Yes. Okay, so did so-called white men or so-called Arab men, did they come to the Sudan and take people? Or did they come to the west coast of Africa? Uh, mainly like Ghana, the Ivory Coast, they take people over to America. Yes, they, they, they kidnapped them. They kidnapped them. Right? My question they is kidnapped that. them, right? Yeah. They, they took them over, even, right? even But that didn't happen to everybody in Africa. That, that happened to certain people in Africa, right? Yes. So go back to Romans chapter 8. Let me show you why this is important, right. bro. Okay. Okay. Read. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. The Spirit itself will witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the Spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So it's saying that just because we got the same black skin does not mean that we the same people, right? right? So it said, if your spirit bear witness with this spirit, so when I read, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. This is for all the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's under the sound of my voice, they can hear, they have an ear to hear, if your people, if you can bear witness to what's going on in this Bible, you are Israelite, right? Our people went into slavery on slave ships. Did that not happen, sis? All right, so we need to understand our history. This is what we teach it. We teach it our history according to the Bible. The pastors have failed to teach you your history is in the Bible. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, because it said, your spirit will bear witness with this spirit, this Bible, read. Bring it out. Chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt or into bondage again with ships. Who did that happen to, bro? Who did that happen to? It happened to us. You are 100% right. In the transatlantic slave trade, in the sub-Saharan slave trade, we were put on ships and we were sent across the world the world, not just America, the world, to, to be oppressed, right? You have brothers that went over that, uh, what is it called? Uh, Hispaniola, which was later called uh, Dominican Republic in Haiti. You have brothers that were sent to Cuba. You have brothers that were sent to the uh, West Indian Islands. You have brothers that were sent to America. So you have brothers that were sent all across the world. So now, does your spirit bear witness with that? Can you say, yeah, that happened to my people? Because if you can't, then you're not a part of this bike. You're not what they're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I want to ask you because I was in Iowa. I live in Iowa, and then I come to Kansas City. And then uh, my co-worker is a white man. And then he asked me, what are you going to do this weekend? And then I said, well, I'm going to take do the laundry on Saturday and Sunday I'm going to go to church. He said, why are you going to church? Jesus is not a, he's not a black, he's not an African. Why are you going to church for him? He said, Jesus is not a black or an African. Why are you going to church? Yes, that was totally white man. So he thought that Jesus looked like this. Uh, and then, no, no, the men No, down here. Down there. Uh, uh, That's what he thought Jesus looked like, right? Okay, so bro, would you look at that picture? Ain't that yeah. the picture we see in the churches? Yeah, I remember the black man. Since you were young, right? And then, uh, then my fifth book. Yeah, they make the black man look like he's evil. He's evil, yeah. And then the white man. Yes, sir. It's Egypt. I mean, Africa, right? Hell, I mean, I mean, it's our son. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask this question. It's, it's in Africa, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Out there, I'm not sure the exact area, but it's our son out there. 
That's all I'm going to say. Okay, like but no, we can prove it. Dark. Hey, hold on. Let the spirit bear witness, all right? Go to Revelation chapter 114. You don't have to say, all right, he was in a landmass where predominantly black people are. We don't have to say that. We can go to the scriptures, and the scriptures going to tell us what Christ looked like. Read that, Revelation 114. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly texture hair on the earth, bro? Yeah, black people have woolly texture right. hair, like my brother right here, like my brother over here. Woolly texture hair, read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire. He said his eyes were a flame of fire because Christ drank wine in moderation. So just like when you drink wine a little bit, your, eye, your pupils turn red. So it's not talking about he had Cyclops eyes or nothing like that. It was just saying because he drank wine in moderation. We can read that in Genesis 49. Keep reading. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. And his feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass, bro? Come on. Brown. It's like a brown. It's like a like a penny. Right? Alright, but let's go deeper, right? As if they burnt in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. Alright, so anything you burn is gonna be what color, bro? Dark. It's gonna be dark. It's gonna be black, right? So it's showing you that Jesus Christ was a black man. Right. Right in the Bible. The scripture said that he is a black man according to the Bible. So anybody that come up to you and tell you that Christ is not a black man, he's a liar. And the truth is not in him. So how can he teach you anything in this Bible? Because I guarantee you the same person that say Jesus is a white man teach you that you don't have to keep no commandments. I guarantee you the one that says that uh, Jesus is a white man tell you you don't have to uh, wear fringes on your clothes. You don't have to keep the Sabbath day holy. You don't have to, you can eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, all these different things. So I guarantee you they told you all that, but they never told you that Christ was a black man, which is according to the Bible. They told you wearing that cross around your neck was okay, which is not okay, because that's against what God is talking about. So you got to understand that, hey, people be lying. And we got to separate the real from the true. How you doing, bro? We done talked to you many, many times. They got one around here somewhere. Get him a flyer. We got you, bro. Don't worry about it. All right? So what we showing you, we showing you that this Bible is for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, you got to make a decision. The spirit going to bear witness. If you can say, hey, yeah, this was my people that was carried off because there's like two different uh, sects in um in Africa, right? There is a Nilotic and what's the other one? Yoruba, Ashanti, Yoruba, Bantu. Ashanti. All right. The Yoruba, the Ashanti. Which one do you fall under? I'm Kush. I'm Kush. I'm Kush. You from Kush? Yeah. All right. So you would not be an Israelite? No, 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 no. The one who made of the Jews, but you said what? The one made to be like a Jews, but the Jews are one get Jesus. One more time. What do you say? I don't know. What I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, because the Jews, the, the, they come from Africa, and then before Islam came, and then the white people came, and the white kid of you guys, but from there they say, oh, you know what? So you see right there? You see what you just did right there? That shows me that your spirit yeah, ain't bearing witness with the spirit. I, I, I want you to listen. You said, hey, yeah, the white man came, uh -huh. and he took you guys. Right, yeah. come on. So that's what you, you saying that you're not us. We're, we're two different type of people. Yeah, up. we have the same skin color, Bring but we're not the same nationality. Oh, That's right. Uh, all right. So, sis, we got to stop drinking. All right? Oh, yeah, so, that's good, that's good. all right? So, what we're showing you, bro, so you, I want you to see this. Just because everybody has the same skin color, don't make us the same people. There are different nationalities. There was over 70 countries in Africa. Right, you gotta know which one you come from. Look, look, look. There's the Ten Commandments. I go to Sinai, Egypt, 
China, where the pyramid is. Yeah. I went up there where the most of the ten commandments. I go that it's called in China, between Israel and Egypt. So I go to that the mountain and then the police will see me after that, they take me to jail. Because they want to get money from white people. Because that is it's called Santa Catherine. That is in uh, in China, Egypt. Yeah. So but you guys, that's why I really uh, I like you guys. Because I first time I went by here and I see you guys, and then today I decided that my car. I said, "Now let me, let me go to the Because I ask you, believe everybody was very black man. Everybody was black. Everybody was black, and I don't know where white people come from. Even my wife knows the white woman, but I don't. My father, you say your wife is a white woman. Yes, yeah, but my father, and my mother, they are not happy with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Of course they wouldn't be happy with it. Yeah. I mean, but it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because these laws were, were given to you. All right? So I want you to understand something. There's a difference between Africans yes. and Israelites. Bring it up. All right? That's what we're showing you. This Bible is only for the Israelites. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. So I want you to see something, bro. It's not about skin color. With us, it ain't about skin color. You see this brother, he's a lighter complexion. You see this brother, he's a darker complexion. Yeah, darker, darker, and, we ain't saying, and we ain't saying that he's a part of us because he's not. He's from a different nation of people. But this brother is from our nation because his, his spirit uh, bears witness with this spirit that this happened to his people. His people was taken on a boat ride to Colombia. That's where he's from. You know what I'm saying? To where they got a mix of people. So now it ain't about color, it's about nationality. Read what you got. Matthew. Chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this is Christ speaking. He's saying that I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How will we lost? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. I want you to look at the brother across the street over there, right? Look at him dancing across the street. He had his pants down earlier. You know what I'm saying? This is what our people are reduced to because we refuse to keep God's commandments. Because we refuse to acknowledge who we are. Because we want to walk around all day following after uh, the white man. Or following after every other nation. Right? Right? Read. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter them among all people. It said the Lord was going to scatter us amongst all people. All people. The Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will be scattered among all people. They weren't scattered among all people. The so-called Sudanese, the so-called uh, Watusis, the so-called uh, Nilotes. They weren't scattered among all people, but we were. All right? So when you hear about them saying, oh, well, Africans sold Africans, no. Africans sold Israelites because they knew we weren't part of those people. Go to Luke chapter... 21 and 20. Let me show you how we got there. Because this is important for you to know. Because we got plenty of um, so-called African stores. Like if you go uh, down Prospect to uh, like uh, 18th and Prospect or whatever, whatever, you got a whole community of uh, so-called Africans there. But they're not our people. You would think that they're our people, but they're not our people. We're trying to get you to come back to your true nationality. The white man said, hey, you're African. And that's a blanket statement. Like, you're African. Here, go be an African. Well, what does that mean? What culture do we come from? There's 78 countries in Africa. Which one do I, uh, am I a part of? See, they give you that as a blanket statement so they keep you from knowing who you really are, which is the Israelites, which God said is the greatest people on the earth. Read what you got. Who? Chapter 21 and verse 20. And when, and when ye shall see Jerusalem, Compass with armies. They said, when you see, shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, talking about in the year 70 AD, read, when uh, Titus uh, Vespucia came and uh, started sieging uh, Jerusalem, read, then know that the desolation thereof is now. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. They said, let them that were in Judea or Jerusalem flee to the mountains. And we're talking about the mountains of Africa, right? So we went, we fled from Jerusalem, we went down to Egypt, we kept coming down and we started getting forced to the west coast of Africa. Because when you come down, uh, when you come straight down, there's Egypt, there's Kenya, uh, there's Sudan on that side, etc., etc. And so we started warring with those tribes. That's why you hear about... Uh, 
uh, Hannibal, all these different uh, wars and stuff like that, we were warring against with the Africans. And so when you get beat in a war, what do you do? You have to succumb to their ways, right? You have to do what they tell you to do. So a lot of us got mixed in, and so a lot of us got pushed to the west coast of Africa, places like Ghana, places like what they call the Ivory Coast. And from there, that's where we got sold into slavery. Right. So everything is documented in the Bible, right? Right. So now when we come out here and say that we, you are an Israelite, we know that we the Israelites because the spirit, the Bible has taught us exactly where we come from. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.